Hello, my fellow guardians! This is Malucha, and welcome back to Destiny 2. New season brings so much new stuff. It is always, like, really, really nice to start a new season. And for this season, we, of course, also are getting Arc 3.0. Now, if you want to unlock most of, most of the aspects and most of the... Uh, I think some are still, like, hidden. Been, well, for Solar, at least, uh, there was some stuff was actually locked behind the raid. And then after raid, it got released. So I'm not really sure if for Arc, it is the same. So... We are missing, we got supers abilities, melees, that are all done. We got some aspects, uh, but we are missing fragments and we are missing grenades. So, lightning grenade, storm grenade, we need flashbang grenade and a pulse grenade. So, yeah, you do need a uh, well. rather big amount of uh, glimmer for this. So, let's pick these up as well. And then let's go to fragments and we actually have every fragment already. That's kind of a surprise because for solar we kind of needed to unlock a l Well, it still it still says that it's not complete yet, but we actually have everything already. So that's really, I find it really strange. And then yeah, you kind of need to accept the meditate quest. And then just press meditate and you basically unlock everything. Meditate on the light. Completed. And let's look at this. I didn't really look at the fire abilities. But uh, with the solar abilities I am kind of interesting in the arc abilities though. So we get two supers. We got the regular arc staff super ability. And now we also have the gathering storm. Where you can hurl your arc staff forward. Embed it into the surface. Or large targets and jolting nearby targets. After a short time, a devastating lightning bolt strikes the staff, overcharging it with arc energy. While overcharged, your staff discharge, discharges lightning at nearby foes. So, do want to actually um, look at this one, see what it actually does. Now, for the abilities, we got the regular dodge and then the marksman dodge, so nothing changes there. We got the high jump, the strafe jump, and the blink jump, so nothing changes there as well. Uh, we do have the disoriented blow, so strike an enemy with this ability blinds them and amplifies you. Instead of the uh, a quick strike that temporarily increases your melee damage when defeating a target at stacking three times, defeating targets with ability also fully refills your class ability energy and restores a small amount of health so it's pretty cool that we can actually blind people with uh with our melee uh which is for higher tier content and if you want to like play close combat it's actually pretty cool base cooldown is a minute 40 though and the other one is 40 seconds so yeah you're gonna get your uh, combination blow back way faster and then we have the grenades, uh, lightning grenade, grenade that sticks to any surface emits a bolt of lightning. We got a grenade that calls down a focused lightning storm. Uh, definitely want to check that one out. Flashbang grenade, an explosive grenade that damages and blinds nearby targets. So there's a lot of blinds actually in our kit. Uh, we got the pulse grenade, grenade that periodically damages targets with explosive radius. A skip grenade, a grenade that splits upon impact, creating multiple projectiles. It's nothing new either. And then the flux grenade, an explosion grenade that attaches to targets. So basically a sticky grenade. So definitely want to look at the storm grenade. Kind of, I feel like that's new. And then, yeah, this is actually a sticky grenade as well. So we basically have two sticky grenades. An explosive grenade that attaches to targets. A gr uh, grenade that sticks to any surface. So this one is only to targets. So it cannot stick to any surface. Okay, interesting. Keep it together, girl. Interesting. And then, yeah, we've got our aspects. We got the flow state arc aspect. Uh, a gleaming uh, amulet with a mantra inscribed. Defeating a jolted target makes you amplified. While you are amplified, your dodge recharges more quickly. And you are more resilient while dodging. And your reload speed is greatly increased. Okay, interesting. We've got the Tempest Strike. While sliding, activate your charge melee ability to unleash a devastating uppercut attack. That travels along the ground in front of you. Damaging and jolting targets in its hit. So, the entire 
arc you've seen is about like jolting targets and every time you jolt you basically um, get amplified defeating a jolted target makes you amplified okay and then after a dodge your next melee attack has an increased lunge range so an increased uh, range for your uh, punch and jolts the targets and creates a damaging aftershock so an aoe damage and damaging any jolted target with melee attacks also blinds them and ever fragments we have spark of beacons while you are amplified your arc special weapon final blows create a blinding explosions so again more blinding uh, while surrounded by combatants you are more resistant to incoming damage and plus 10 strength we got spark of momentum sliding over ammo bricks reloads your equipped weapon and grants a small amount of melee energy uh, we got spark of shock your arc your grenades jolt targets and then not yet unlocked so there are still um, fragments that we have not unlocked yet defeating a jolted target creates an ionic trace Okay, Arc Weapon Final Blows have a chance to create Ionic Traces. And what else do we have? Spark of Frequency. Melee hits greatly increase your reload speed for a short duration. After sprinting for a short time, your class ability regeneration is increased with Spark of Focus. Spark of Recharge. While critically wounded, your melee and grenade energy regenerate more quickly. Spark of Magnitude, your Lingering Arc Grenade, Lightning Grenade, Pulse Grenade and Storm Grenade have extended duration. Okay. Uh, spark of Amplitude, not unlocked yet. Rapidly defeating targets while you are amplified creates orbs of power. Spark of Feedback, taking melee damage briefly increases your outgoing melee damage. Plus 10 Resilience. Okay, interesting. Spark of Vaults, finishes make you amplified. Plus 10 Recovery. And then the last one that we have not unlocked yet. Defeating a blinded target with precision damage creates a blinding explosion. Oh. So yeah, there is a lot. And I do mean a lot of blinding in arc. Okay, so after a little bit of well playing around with it and testing with the arc, I think I found my setup. But before we talk about my setup, we glanced over Blink. Like, Blink is now apparently in the game where we can teleport a short jump while airborne to teleport a short distance. So if we equip our sword, now let's say that we try to like jump across this rock. So this is actually, I, was, I think I was a little bit in front of the rock. So this is actually the distance that you blink. That's actually not too bad and you can like blink upwards as well. But I'm really not proficient in it yet. There we go. And you can get a little bit of a distance. But I'm... I'm simply... I, I've failed so many times. I jumped. I've jumped um, off sides of buildings. And I, I, I still find that the triple jump is just way more interesting. But yeah, Blink is here in the game. Now, um, before we go over the setups, I kind of wanted to uh, check out the grenades. And we went over the grenades, but grenades all have... Uh, I, I kind of expected them to all have the same cooldown, but they all have a different cooldown. So the Storm Grenade actually has a minute 45. We've got the Flashbang Grenade, a minute 30. Uh, we got the Pulse Grenade for 2 minutes. We got the Skip Grenade for 2 minutes. We got the Flux Grenade, 3 minutes cooldown, base cooldown. And then the Arc Bolt Grenade for 1 minute 45. So... We have right now equipped the lightning grenade, and that is a two minutes cooldown as well. So kind of wanted to check out those as well before we actually go into the actual combat. Now, I did pick a wrong boss because she uses arc abilities as well. Let's throw that arc in there. It's actually not too bad of a damage. So the storm grenade actually calls down a lightning and we saw a hit there for 13,000 so that's actually pretty pretty nice and it's like a couple bolts it's like five bolts of lightning that rain down we had 13,000 damage is a lot of damage for a grenade guys for the next grenade we're going with flashbang which has the smallest cooldown one minute 30 let's quickly check out what that one can do there should still be enemies here <laughs> If I 
28,000. Plus it should blind enemies and disorient them so they actually don't shoot at you. So the one with the lowest cooldown has the biggest hit. That kind of doesn't make sense to me, but okay. The next grenade is the Pulse Grenade. The grenade that periodically damages targets within its explosion radius. So it should create like a small bubble and then, uh, well, basically damages enemies inside, right? So 9,500 hits there. And I think we just saw the last hit. So it remains for, let's say, three and a half seconds that it remains there hitting for 9.5. Uh, we should all know the skip grenade, a grenade that splits upon impact, creating multiple projectiles that seek out targets. Which is, uh, probably, uh, it's kind of one I use, and especially if you, like, can jolt multiple targets with this. Uh, do your lightning strike, please. Thank you. Let's throw this over here. So, 1.4 damage I saw there, so it doesn't really do a lot of damage. But it does mean that you would jolt all those targets at the same time, like multiple targets with one grenade. Even if you don't throw it perfectly, it would still track towards the enemy, so it will still jolt them. For the next grenade, we go to the grenade with the longest cooldown, the flux grenade, an explosive grenade that attaches to targets. So I presume this one is gonna do the most damage. Well, that's at least what I was thinking. So do we have a proper target to throw it at? 59, yeah, that was something I was expecting. Like, if that didn't do the most amount of damage for the cooldown, this this would have just been ridiculous. And for the next grenade, and the last grenade, yeah, we had a, we had a couple to go over, seven grenades in total. The Arc Bolt Grenade, the grenade that chains bolts to lightning to nearby targets. And I think this is gonna be my favorite one, I'm not really sure. I can't decide between the, um, the Storm Grenade or the, what uh, was it, the, uh, like a pulse grenade? No. Where was it? Where was the grenade? Yeah, the skip grenade. Because uh, I kind of want to, for my build at least, I kind of want to, like, hit as many targets as possible. I don't need to kill them with my grenade. I just need to hit them so they become jolted. Because that's the whole train progress that I actually have. So let's quickly see what this grenade can do. We should have multiple enemies. Let's throw it out there. Yeah, 20, 20. So it actually still packs up quite a bit of a punch. That's actually pretty interesting. I'm not sure how many targets it can deal with. As we saw with the skip grenade, the skip actually like targeted five or six enemies. This one only got like two enemies, but it, it did instantly kill them. Now for the build I am running, I did use... Uh, I was kind of excited about the uh, lethal current one. Uh, well, after the Tempest Strike one, uh, it seemed really, really nice to do a slide and then uh, do an uppercut after that. So, uh, But it's actually not that fancy. Uh, first off, I was thinking that it was going to be a wave of uh, damage that you're going to do in front of you. But it's actually more like a line of damage, like a straight line of damage. So I'll quickly show you what it looks like. I do have an enemy on the side there. A slide and then a punch. It looks nice, but as you can see, it's like it's like one straight line, and the enemy is not even dead yet. The enemy is not even dead yet, so it doesn't really pack that much of a punch. And then I was like, well, let's uh let's test out the other one, right? So we got Tempest Strike, but we also have Lethal Current. Now Lethal Current actually after yo don't wanna die. <laughs> Any damage that comes thrown at me. So, Lethal Current actually works with after a dodge, your next melee attack has increased lunge range, jolts the targets, and creates a damaging aftershock. Damaging any jolted targets with melee attacks also blinds them. And this is also why I want to, like, get as many enemies, uh, like, uh, jolted as one. The target is charged with destructive arc, light as they take additional damage while jolted the chain lightning to nearby targets. So if you defeat one target that is jolted, it's basically gonna hit a second target that is, well, it's gonna hit multiple targets. Like anybody who's close by, 
it's going to hit him as well. And then we can still blind him. So for heavier targets, we can make sure that they actually don't fire at us. Because combat combatants are disoriented, cannot fire their weapons. Opposing player huts are removed and their vision is obscured for PvP. And then the flow state uh, is actually a gleam. Uh, defeating a jolted target makes you amplified. That's also why we want to be as... Uh, well, we want to have as many jolted targets around us as possible. Because every time when we kill them, we are amplified. When you're amplified, your dodge recharges more quickly. And you are more resilient while dodging. And your reload speed is greatly increased. Now, the dodging is pretty important here. Because uh, we want to get our melee back as fast as possible and we want to be able to like dodge continuously and with how i set up my gear right now so i do have powerful friends in here i just love powerful friends 20 plus extra mobility why not right uh and we do have hands on so gain bonus super energy on melee kills because the entire build is gonna Focus on me killing everything with my fists. Uh, this is also why I'm running uh, 100 resilience. And actually not a lot of recovery. And well, I basically my the gear that I had on me doesn't get to 100 mobility. I still kind of want to go for 100 mobility, 100 resilience. And then go for 100 intellect. Or maybe even a little bit more strength. Uh, on my hands, I am using Liar's Handshake. Because as we have not a lot of recovery... With the Liar's Handshake, if you use your Arc Melee ability or hit by a melee attack, you will follow up, uh, you will allow you to follow up with an extremely powerful melee counterpunch that will heal you. So this is also why it's not really that necessary to get recovery, because I can basically heal myself over and over and over again by basically just keep punching them. Now for the mods, I'm using the Melee Will Maker, so I do want to make sure that I can spawn these wells in. Uh, these arc wells in. So picking it up elemental will grants energy to your ability with the lowest current energy. And then I am using momentum transfer causing damage with a grenade reduces your melee cooldown. So again trying to get that cooldown for my melee up faster and faster and faster. On my vest I am using the will of striking. So picking up uh, uh, an arc elemental will grants you additional melee energy. Multiple copies of this mod increase the effect. So again getting your melee back faster and faster. And of course, uh, the thermo shocks. Uh, for yeah, it was, uh, we just checked that on the boots uh, again. Will of striking because uh, it stacks, so getting multiple uh, mods of these will get my melee back faster and faster and faster. And I also have the absolution reduces all ability cooldown each time you pick up an orb of power. Again, getting every ability back faster and faster and faster. Like that's the whole point of what well, kind of what i was thinking and then for the cloak we are using will of striking again and we are using double outreach i'm not really sure if this actually stacks but sometimes it seems like it does like it reduces your melee cooldown when you use your class ability so we're basically trying to get our melee ability as low as possible. And every time we use melee, we're trying to get our dodge as fast as possible. So it's constantly dodging melee hits, dodging melee hits. Then for our fragments, we are using Spark of Shock. So your arc grenades jolts targets. Again, this is why I want a grenade that can hit multiple uh, targets. Uh, it has 10 minus 10 discipline. I really usually don't go for the minus ones, but this just seemed completely right in for the build I wanted to create. We got Spark of Focus after sprinting for a short time. Your class ability regeneration is increased. So again, getting our class abilities back faster. We've got Spark of Recharge. While critically wounded, your melee and grenade energy regenerates more quickly. Again, getting those, well, those regens, right? Getting our abilities back faster and faster. And sliding over ammo bricks reloads your equipped weapon and grants a small amount of melee energy. Again, getting energy back like that is the whole concept that i have about my build now i do realize that if i look through my mod collection that i'm still missing arc mods and it is possible that for the build i'm trying to make that it's not sufficient because sometimes it just doesn't work so the whole concept is we do a dodge we do a melee and we should get our dodge back Sometimes it just it just doesn't work. And sometimes it does work. Like, it's really strange. So dodge. And now we get our melee back. Let's go in here. Dodge. And we get our melee back. So now it actually worked. 
Dodge. Melly. Ah, we couldn't dodge yet. Dodge Melly back. Dodge Melly back. Like, that is the concept of the build I want to create. Like, constantly dodging. And you can see her getting a uh, combination blows times three. And eventually, that's gonna pack quite a wall up. And every time we hit a target, that target will actually jolt towards the nearest target. Dodge, melee back, 30,000 over here. I did see in my testing, I did see like a hit of like 100k. Dodge, melee back. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I'm getting 91 there. 30,000 here, so yeah, you can get pretty big hits in. And yeah, you just annihilate the entire mob whoops. 30,000 there. Like it is, it is quite a punch that you can cast and basically wiping out entire groups. Like this is, this is fun as hell. Like I'm having so much fun just running around, dodge, punch, dodge, punch. As you can see, I, I did a dodge there, but I didn't get my melee back, so... I think if I can get my hands on a couple more mods, then it might actually be like the perfect build where it would work. I getting, I'm getting, by doing a dodge, I'm getting my melee energy back, but sometimes it just doesn't completely reset. So not sure what is going wrong, but yeah, this is also the first time ever I'm doing like a build craft or build theory crafting, because usually I just look at videos online like, Okay, this is a pretty good build. Let's try to set this up. But yeah, I think like, okay, we'll, we'll have to see if I can make something myself. And I do have to say it was a fun as hell trying to make something for myself. But anyway, guys, this is where I'm going to wrap up my video. If you want to see more of my Let's Play here in Destiny 2 or any other game I might play on my channel, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot i do hope you enjoyed the video and if you do just give it a thumbs up like i said in the previous episode i'm gonna start asking for the thumbs up i'm not gonna do it at the start of my video i'm basically gonna do it at the end of the video because asking for a thumbs up or a like when people didn't even see the video just doesn't really feel right to me but yeah if you like the video give it a thumbs up anyway guys see you in the next one Bye bye